according to the German publication manager magazine, VW's vehicle models, particularly those under the VW brand and some Audi models, are experiencing significant delays in their rollout based on the scalable systems platform. The SSP-based volume models are now projected to hit the market no earlier than 2029. This decision, reportedly made by the Group Board of Management on July 2, suggests that while the next generation of the Golf based on the SSP will only be postponed by 15 months, a large electric SUV, the T-Sport, will not be launched until 2031, three years after the initial plan. Similarly, the successor to the ID.4 and the Compact ID. Golf have both been postponed by 15 months, with the ID. Golf's premiere now scheduled for 2029, but likely later in the year than the ID. Golf. This information, also confirmed by the Handelsblatt newspaper, highlights a potential challenge for Group CEO Oliver Bloom and VW brand boss Thomas Schaefer. Schaefer had confirmed in early June that the SSP would launch in 2028, but this recent decision indicates a possible delay in the entire platform or just variants for individual segments. The SSP was intended to become the standardized electric platform for numerous group models across various size classes. Schaefer had mentioned a probable launch in 2028, but if the executive board revises the timeline shortly after, it signals potential internal issues. Several reasons for the postponement are cited by Manager Magazine, with one of the most prominent being the software. The SSP vehicles are set to use the E3 2.0 software from VW software unit Carriot. However, the architecture's delay means that launching the models at very tight intervals would not be feasible, resulting in the need to push back several models significantly. Originally, the E3 2.0 was to be an in-house development by Carriot. However, a recent cooperation agreement between VW and Rivian signed at the end of June seems to have altered this plan. The SSP is now expected to use an adapted E-E architecture from the end of the decade, transitioning to a new architecture developed by VW and Rivian in the early 2030s. The specifics of this adapted architecture are still unknown. Hello EV fans, welcome back to EV's gallery. Hope you guys are doing well. From the latest industry updates to in-depth reviews of the hottest EV models, we are here to keep you charged with electrifying news and insights. We are thrilled to announce the launch of three exclusive membership levels on our channel, Spark, Voltage, and Gigawatt. Are you ready to supercharge your support and join an exclusive community of like-minded electric vehicle fans? Become a member of our channel today. By joining, you'll not only fuel our journey together but also unlock fantastic perks tailored just for you. So, if you haven't subscribed yet, now's the perfect time to join the EV revolution. Hit that subscribe button, and don't forget to turn on the notification bell to stay charged with the latest updates. To maintain the freshness of the electric model range until the delayed SSP launch, VW plans to further develop the current MEB platform into the MEB+. The first MEB+, models are due in 2026. Manager Magazine reports that if such an investment is to be worthwhile, it must run longer than previously planned, implying that the SSP models will need to be deployed later. This indicates that while other SSP models, such as the Trinity from Tvikau, might debut in 2028, the volume rollout of the SSP will only commence in 2029. This delay will impact not only group production but also sales. On July 1, Martin Sander began his role as the new board member for sales at VW, with his main task being to boost electric car sales. With the more attractive models on the new SSP coming later than expected, Sander's job becomes more challenging. The postponement underscores significant setbacks for VW's strategy to dominate the electric vehicle market. It reflects ongoing struggles within the company, particularly with software development and integration, which have been persistent issues for VW. The delays in SSP rollout and the subsequent impact on model launches suggest that VW needs to address these internal challenges promptly to stay competitive. The situation also highlights the broader industry challenge of transitioning to electric vehicles, where delays in technology and platform developments can significantly alter strategic timelines and market positioning. Thank you so much for joining us today. We love hearing your thoughts and insights, so don't forget to share your comments and feedback in the comments section below. Your engagement means a lot to us, and it keeps the conversation going. If you enjoyed today's content and want to stay updated with the latest news, 
be sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications. That way, you won't miss out on any future updates.